I've never seen this kind of fear where people feel they need to flee from the United States, a country that was based on welcoming immigrants. There has been a steady rise in the number of refugees crossing the border to Canada. Janet Metfrigid is a social worker from Champlain working directly with refugees. In an increase, like personally working with them. It's, an, it's a very interesting situation. Living on the border, of course, we're used to refugees or we're used to immigrants. But what we've seen since the election has been, um, I'm sensing a, a more of a fear that they're going to be deported to an area that's unsafe. And so they're taking the risk to cross the border to go into Canada in hopes of getting um, asylum status there. Um, so as far as what I've seen personally, um, it's primarily been an increase in taxi cabs. For many refugees, the journey of crossing over the border begins at Plattsburgh. Asylum seekers often take cabs to travel to Roxham Road in Champlain and just walk over the border. A gentleman, he was at a hotel up here and I took him to the last exit. I didn't take him to across the border. Okay. He didn't have the qual uh, what you call it, the papers to cross the border. Rob has been driving taxi cabs in Plattsburgh for four years. So how many people have you dropped off uh, at the border today? Only, there was only three so far. Why do you think there has been like this increase in the number of refugees that are trying to cross the border without their papers? And well, now that I've got no idea other than they're looking for a better life or a, away from danger. In a quarter mile, arrive at Roxham Road. I took the trip to Roxham myself, a narrow, unassuming lane greeting visitors with a dead end sign. At the end of the road, a narrow stream separates the two nations. An officer of the Canadian Border Patrol says that Roxham has become a hot spot for refugees to try and cross over. It is thus a highly patrolled area. I can't give you numbers, I can tell you we're busy. So this is one of the main spots. Most of the 4,000 mile border that the U.S. shares with Canada is wide open and unsecured. Roxham residents say that the road was no different. But since the elections, it has become a busy exit. Goes up every day, uh, five, six of them every day. Seeing them all the time coming down with this taxi left and right. Um, people get dropped off and they walk the road up to the border at the end of the road. They go by during the day, night time. This morning, I was up at three o'clock in the morning, they were running. Kristen Brown lives in a house on the border. I lived on the border for almost 10 years. And in the first nine and a half years, we saw a taxi once, maybe twice, in all of our time living on the border. Since January, mid to late January, it's been about three a week, or three a day. It's actually increased from three a week to three a day. And that's just going on my part of the road. She, like McFetridge, thinks that people are escaping because of fear. So why do you think suddenly there has been such a huge increase in people who want to? People are scared. People are worried that they are going to be either deported or persecuted or mistreated for their skin tone or ethnic origin or their religion. McFittridge and her group is trying to decrease panic among asylum seekers by helping them. Um, we're looking into maybe um, linking them up with the legal help if they need it, a clothing, um, other kinds of assistance, um, to just see what they may need. But she says that refugees crossing the border is a byproduct of a larger problem. I think our immigration needs a huge overhaul. I think some of these people who are documented right now and their visas are going to run out, the system seems somewhat broken in that it's hard to get your visa renewal. While the government is declaring new policies, the problem seems to persist. As the weather grows warmer, the number of asylum seekers crossing the border are expected to rise, and the end of Roxham, marked by a do not cross sign, continues to be a new beginning for many seeking a safe place.